What's in the secret box? Dun dun. Dun dun. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And today we picked up two storage units out here in DC. Both of them right next to each other. And this unit right here, and that unit right down there. Two units, we paid 100 bucks for the two. This one was 70, no, this one was $80, sorry. That one was $20. So, fingers crossed we're gonna score a bunch of treasure. Usually when we're in DC, we have great luck. Without further ado, let's get digging. So let's start with the cheaper of the two units. This one was only $20. I usually would not bid on something like this, but because we were coming up to pick that one up already, I figured, why not? Let's grab this one. It literally has two bags, a book bag, and a tote. And that is absolutely it. So there might be nothing here, but for $20, I figured it makes the video a little more interesting. Let's see what we got in here. Doesn't feel like clothes, actually. Ugh. We got a phone kick. I thought that was money in there. I was like, no way. But it's a birth certificate, so that's got to go back to the front. Guys, that just stopped my heart for a second. By the way, when we tried to open this, the door was stuck. Look what it did to my knuckle already. It slashed my knuckle up just trying to get the lock open. Where do we go? Oh. Your change. Where's that at? In the same pocket? No, no, right inside. here. Ooh. Is there one in there? There it is. Open it. It's a bunch of pennies and random junk. All right, cool. There's a Visa gift card in there. Could be something on there. In here, though. I don't want to spend my first one, so. But. Paperwork. Nothing that I see right now. Anything else? Brand new shirt for 36 bucks, not worth much, but eh, goodwill, <laughs> goodwill paper is not a good sign. All right, so nothing in there. Let's see what else, this is literally all that was in this little unit, that's why I don't have probably 20 bucks. It looks like this is dress clothes of some sort, and a belt. We'll go through it all once we get home. Hey, Chicago Bulls, few hats. Uh oh, hold on. Look at that. Chicago Bulls, another hat. I think that's Golden State, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Golden State and Houston Rockets. And yeah, Chicago again. That ain't bad. And usually get about 10 bucks a piece for hats on eBay. So we only paid 20. That could double our money right there. Oh, they're not in there. About to be some wireless earbuds, but it's empty. There's some random stuff. I don't really know what. Uh, looks like mostly clothes, but a bunch of little random things in there. We'll definitely go through it once we get it, get it all home. All knitting stuff? No. Ooh. Really random looking. Ugh. 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 Okay. Let's see what's in the book bag at least. We'll check that out. Front pocket. A watch, is that a smart watch? I don't know what kind of watch that is. That could be something valuable, I'm not sure. It's like one. Yeah, but what brand is it? No. Doesn't have a brand on it. I think that's what that is. Pretty sure it's a smart watch. You know the only reason I might know that is because of those cases we always find at Five Below. Yeah, that's the only cases. reason I said it too. <laughs> only reason. Oh, I know what usually comes in this, guys. It's not photo stuff. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Oh, it's sealed. Oh, okay. Never mind. But you guys know those old disposable film things to come with cameras? Everyone that knows something about something knows that they're not usually full of film. <laughs> That's what I thought it was going to be. Bunch of random envelopes again, so there could be something hidden in here. We got to check it out once we get it home. 20 bucks, I'm happy with this. This is fun. And looks like a bunch of random paperwork in here as well. Yeah, just a bunch of paperwork, some jeans. What's in here? Oh, an iPhone box. What kind of iPhone is that? iPhone 7 Plus, that would have been nice. What was that? Business card, look at my knuckles, still bleeding like profusely. But, not in there unfortunately. But who knows, it could be somewhere else in here and 
Still, iPhone boxes do sell, not for much. But they're worth something. All right, so that's all that's in there. Oops. There's another book bag here, though. And one, too. What do we got here? There's some earbuds. Are these Apple? These are the new ones again, look. It's got the Apple, their iPhone adapter on it. Since the Apple thought it was a bright idea to get rid of the audio jack for whatever reason. Someone that's an Apple supporter, let me know, because I don't get it. What do we got in here? Oh, discharge information, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, some more clothes, more clothes. Yeah, this bag looks like it's full of all clothes. Um, let's see. Other than that, this whole rest of this bag looks to be full of clothes. It's probably what's going to be in here too. Huh? Not quite. Hey. Those are Tim's. I mean, they're a little beat up. But look right there, I mean, it's scratched, but if the other one's in there, they could be worth something. We got some old Nikes too. I mean, they're, that's actually the design. I thought they were just really brown. That's actually the design of them. What are these? Don't look like nothing too valuable. There's the other Tim. So we got a pair of Tim's and we got this pair of Nikes. Someone let me know what these are. I mean, obviously I know they're Nikes, but if there's something specific, let me know. Uh, let's see, what else we got in here? Doesn't look like much else. Off the top. Let's see what we got in this bag. Looks like a bunch of paint in there. Just a bunch of random little jars of paint. And this might be the same thing. If yeah, let's paint, I can see it right through the bag. A pair of sunglasses. These look cheap. They have a serial code in them though, but they say made in China, so made in China, usually junk. But other than that guys, look, there's a wire for something, a charger for an Android phone. I found an iPhone box and a charger for Android. But other than that, that looks like it's all that's in this first one. We'll go through everything once we in more detail, but for now we're gonna switch over to the second unit, the one that looks more full of stuff and see what we got in there. All right guys, I'm sitting down. This one's low and it goes pretty deep back, so I'm gonna have to probably crawl in here a little bit, but there's a wallet. Hey, it's got some stuff in it. I don't see no cash money, but there's some cards and things like that. We have found a little bit of money on the gift cards in the past, not much. I think like there was like $14 in one, usually like seven. So probably not much. And I see some personal stuff in there we'll have to give back. Let's see what this is. What's in the secret box? This is one of the reasons I wanted to get the unit because you never know what's in a secret box like that. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, looks like paper. What is this? Well, guys, did we find another dealer unit? Seriously, that's such a scale. And it doesn't smell like we did, but I don't know. What the heck are these? These are all some type of gummy candy, which I'm kind of worried about. Look at this. I'm gonna open it anyway. Hold on, let me open it. Um, guys, I don't know what that is. I don't think this is regular candy. No, 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 no way individually wrapped like this with no brand name, no nothing on it. So, maybe that's some type of drug. I'm not gonna put that past it. And they might just have weed in them. There's more of them. I mean, they might just be some you know, like edible stuff. That's all that's in here. At the top, at least. So there's two layers of this? Yeah, it's on the side. Do a lock on the side. Let's see what we got. LA Confidential. Okay. Look at that remnant in there. And here we go again. You kept it in a toolbox? In a toolbox. I'm pretty sure this is going to be weed remnants in there. I see green flakes already. Let's see. Ugh. Well, oh, yep, there we go. That's weird, but we are in DC. <laughs> it's allowed uh, over here, so you know what? This is some other type of weed. And I'm, you have a cookie jar full of. and I'm pretty sure, like I said, these are gonna have something in them. They're not no freaking gummy worms, because they wouldn't keep this in the same box with that option. If that's all it really was, which okay. it obviously is not. That was really obnoxious, I'm sorry. All right, let's see here. Let's get this lock out the way. 
What do we got in this suitcase? This is a Calvin Klein suitcase, actually. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. What do we got in here? Clothes. Kind of expected this. Oops. I forgot that thing was hard plastic. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a bunch of clothes. Hey, what are these? Toe rings? That's just gross. That is really grimy. Hey, a purse. What do we got in here? Yeah, it looks new actually. What brand is this? Van Go Van Goody? Somebody let me know. Because like you know I'm clueless when it comes to that kind of stuff. I think that's what it says, right? Van Goody? Yeah. Alright, let's get deeper in here. Yeah, scoot in the unit. <laughs> what do we have in this bag? Bunch of random junk. Bunch of paperwork. Vehicle registration. Just personal stuff right now. Um, hey, there's a phone box that LG asked something too, but it's not heavy enough to have the phone in there, but anything else? Nope. It's just a book. Hey, there it is. That's an iPhone. What the? What kind of phone is this? I wonder which oh. version. Oh. oh my gosh, I don't know. Guys, the home button's gone. Newer, the home button's gone. Isn't that like... Are you serious? Yeah, I feel that. That's not a home button. That Your is eyes? not... I don't know what kind of iPhone this is. Well, what a, is is their home button um, like fingerprint? Yeah, it's enabled? the newer one. I don't know if it's thick. I don't want to say the X because the X is gonna freak me the hell out because I know it's still like four or five hundred dollars or more. I don't know if that's an X. Oh my god! Yeah, Let's look up this number. Hold on, model A one seven eight four. If somebody knows, let me know. I mean, I'm gonna have this looked up right when I get in the car. But still, it's thought of that. Oh, it's going in my jacket pocket right now. <laughs> Ooh, that could have made the day right there. We got a bunch of paperwork, planners, junk like that, receipts. That's one thing we definitely notice about people in storage units. They keep a lot of receipts. I feel weird doing a video sitting down here. This is weird, but it's like I got to go deep in here, so I don't really have a choice. Nothing in that purse. Uh, let's see. Bunch of paperwork. And we'll go through all the paperwork once we get home, like always. Some black bags to help us along the way, bag the stuff yes. up. <laughs> What's in the box? Something's in the box. Something's not open in the box. It's open, it's re-taped, look at that. No professional company would tape like that. <sighs> you would think I'd bring a knife after all the times, I'm always forgetting a knife, always getting told to bring a knife. I still forget. Mostly because we were at storage units auctions all day today and we didn't get nothing there. So I got this one online. Ugh. Let's see. More bags. A box of bags. <laughs> Joy. Joy. These are like, like grocery bags. Yeah, I know. Like There's one. Oops. Yeah, DTLR bag. That's a good clothes store. I know that much. And a bra, beautiful. There's some paperwork hidden down in here as well. Along with a charger. Again, is that an Android charger again? Why? <laughs> again, same thing. I guess they can have multiple phones for some reason. All right, we got a wig. Joy. I found in the past, wigs are pretty much worthless. Hey, some water. water. I'm not drinking somebody's water. So don't. <laughs> nobody's got to tell me, guys. It's going in the trash. So I don't trust it. Let's see. There's like a cooler in here. Huh? No, what's inside of it? What's the container? Ew. Oh. Uh. That's actual food. That's going in the trash before we get uh. in the car. Oh. Hold I might on. trash I this whole thing. I saw something in here. That's like a standing car charger thing. I've never seen nothing like that. Oh wow. That's okay. kinda cool. Yeah. Put that away. What brand is this? Wearguard? If anyone's heard of Wearguard, let me know. 
pretty dirty though, so I don't know if that'll clean up, but hopefully. Another hoodie. Now these are pants actually. What brand is this? I don't know, CB? CB that I have. Oops. This we got, hey. I can't help try a selfie stick thing. My knuckle's really bleeding. So more wig and hair extensions and things of that nature. That's all this is. This looks nicer than everything else. What is this? Steve Madden. That's not an expensive brand, is it? What size is that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. There's like a sticker on it. Looks like a thrift store tag, so it might be a dry cleaner, though. I don't know. Hey, I hear change in it. Where is it at? Yeah, it's like a quarter. <laughs> Money found. Money found in the store. <laughs> All right, let's see. Last little here. corner. Another jacket. Pair of boots here. What brand are they? What do we got? What do we got? It does not say. Nautica is what they are. I've heard of that before. I don't think they're expensive either. So probably a cheap pair of boots. Some more slippers. And all this looks like bathroom stuff. So this year they kind of suck unless that iPhone is worth something big. But other than that guys, we're gonna have to take everything home. We'll go through it and we'll do a giant recap and let you know and I'll see you then. All right guys, let's do a grand recap of this video. So as of now, I do not really know if we scored or not. It's a really big if right now. So first thing is first, we found this Samsung Galaxy Note 4 in there. This cuts on, it's dead now. I charged it up to 2% just to make sure. This cuts on and works absolutely fine. These are going for about a hundred bucks on eBay. So this will pretty much pay everything back right there, which is awesome. The big if is this. So we looked up the model number, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. Now, if this thing is working, they're going for about $300 or more on eBay. Unfortunately, I cannot get it to cut on. We tried multiple chargers. We tried to like hold the power button and volume down. It didn't work. Tried to do it on the charger, off the charger. Tried to press the up, down, hold. All these little different tricks I've seen on YouTube. I've been trying a bunch of different things, but we cannot get this phone to cut on. But if we can get it to come, cut on, it's worth about $300. So this would be an absolutely amazing score. If we can't get it to cut on, it's worth about $70 to $100. So still, we'll double but if we can get it to cut on i really don't want to just like sell it as broken if there's a possibility of getting it to cut on so if anyone has any other type of tricks it's an iphone 7 plus 32 gig and i just cannot get it to cut on so if somebody has any type of trick you're an apple user you guys know i do not like apple i don't use apple so i have no idea but if somebody has a trick to get this to cut on please let me know i really would love to get this thing working and make a ton of money off this unit that would be epic we also got this, it's not really worth much, I just thought it was cool, from the um, MGM Casino, a $5 poker chip, which is kind of cool. We got these hats here, they're not in the greatest of condition, usually in good condition hats like this we can get 10 bucks on eBay a piece, but these are kind of dusty, they might come off with a lint roll, I'm not 100% sure though, but Chicago Bulls, Golden State Warriors, Houston Rockets, and another Chicago Bulls hat. We might clean them up depending on how they clean up. If they clean up nicely, we'll probably list them for 10 bucks on eBay. If not, they might be like five bucks at the flea market or something. So not 100% sure on that. These Nikes, I've never seen these before. I tried to find them online. So somebody helped me out with this as well. They have like, it looks like a wood finish on the bottom. I tried to look up like Nike wood bottom, Nike wood finish, something like that. And the tag in here is really hard to see. It's dirty. So I can't really look up like a number or anything like that. So. If anyone has any idea on these shoes, please let me know. Cause again, I don't know. They could be worth some money. Maybe they're old, maybe they're vintage, maybe they're rare, I have no idea. It's a real gamble with that too. And these, the Tims, I think Tims, I mean pretty much, I sold my last pair of regular Tims for 55 bucks. So these might go for a little less or a little more. I don't know exactly. Cause they're not the regular Tims. Obviously they have the design here where they do have the Timberland logo on it and everything. So they're definitely real Tims but they're not in great condition so but neither were the last pair and they sold pretty quick as well so but these we we'll just have to look them up you know judge the condition and list them on ebay maybe 40 bucks i'm guessing i don't know for sure we'll look it up in a bit guys i just want to say we ripped one of these open and they reek of weed so these are a 100 something to do with weed i don't know if they're just all infused with weed or just some type of edible or what but we ripped one of these opens because i was just really curious and it's reeks of weed so 
we have another person with a ton of drugs in the locker. This time in DC, last time it was in Maryland. And just to make this a little more interesting for you guys, they left their arrest records on here. They have lying, lying about their identity to law enforcement, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. So I'm guessing another dealer of some sort, another drug dealer here. So I thought that was interesting. Obviously their arrest record, I don't think is worth much, but I thought it was interesting. Last thing I thought was cool were these two watches we got here. I don't think these are worth too much at all, honestly, especially this one. I think I found one very similar to this and it really wasn't worth much, uh, much of anything, but it doesn't really have a brand on it. It's something quartz, but it's just stainless steel. It's not real or anything like that. It's looks like one of those hip hop type watches that aren't worth much. This one, on the other hand, I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to look it up, but it looks like this um, skull from Punisher right there, if I'm 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure, I mean, actually. It says Marvel on the back. I just now realized that. So I guess I'm going to assume that's a Punisher watch right there. I don't know how much that one's worth, but I know a lot of times things with Marvel and characters on them like that can be worth a good amount of money. But anyway, guys, decent haul. I made a little bit of money, but this is the big if. Again, if you can help me, please help me. I need to get this thing to cut on somehow. I just can't figure out how. And if it does, I mean, we could probably make $400 off this unit, maybe even more than that. So I'll be really happy with that. But even if we can't, the phones alone will pay for the unit. Even in, like I said, this is $100 because it works. And this is 75 to 100 even if it doesn't work. So these two will already allow me to double my money. But I would much rather triple or quadruple if, if possible. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome storage unit videos, dumpster diving videos, all types of treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. If you want to follow us on our social media, links will be on screen. You can click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.